this happened just a few months ago. For a little bit of background, I graduated college three years ago. I hadn't been to the library in a long time, but I went back this past summer. It had probably been a little bit over a year since the last time that I had been there. I needed to go there to print off a couple of documents. I was starting a new job and did not have a printer at my apartment, so I went to the library. It was only about five minutes away, and when I got inside, things were very quiet. There was not a whole lot of other people there. I found the computer lab area relatively fast. They had a couple of printers that you could use. The library probably had about 20 computers, and maybe three other people were there scattered around. I sat at one, not really by anyone else, and logged on. I wasn't going to be there for a very long time, and went to locate the things that I needed to print. After probably two minutes of being there, a man sat at the computer next to mine. This was a little bit odd because of all the open ones that weren't next to people, but it didn't really bother me. In fact, I didn't think much of it at all because I was focused and I knew that I would only be there for like five more minutes. Maybe a minute after sitting down, the man leaned over to me and said hi. I said hi back to him and he looked to be about 20 years older than I was. He then said, are you doing some kind of school project or something? I said no, I had graduated from school and just had to print some things for work. The guy said okay, and then I could tell that he was still just looking at me. It seemed a little bit odd, but not too big of a deal. So then, finally, I was able to print off what I needed a couple of minutes later. When I heard the printer start, I logged off of the computer and then got up. I walked over to the printer and got my documents and then put them in my folder. As I was doing this, I saw the man stand up from his computer as if he was going to leave. I just kind of thought, that's weird, but not much else. I left the library after, and when I was walking out to my car, noticed the man leaving a ways behind me. This is when I felt like maybe something was up, but I was able to get to my car easily and then would be able to drive home. When I was inside of my car, I felt completely safe. I left the library and started driving home. It didn't take long to get back, but only like a minute after leaving the library, I noticed the car behind me was the same man. I was at a red light and he pulled up behind me. Because it was daytime, I was able to see that he was behind the wheel. I hoped that he would turn someplace else. I really thought that there was no way that he was going to follow me home. But the closer I got to my apartment, the guy remained driving behind me. I started to get really nervous. I wasn't really sure what to do, but my apartment was coming up. Soon, the turn came for it. When I turned into my apartment complex, the guy turned behind me. My apartment building is relatively big, and the parking lot is gated. You have to enter a code, and each resident has their own code. The apartment is not fancy or anything, but the security feature is very nice. So now I was stopped at the place where you enter your code, with the guy right behind me. I entered it, and then the gate began to open. I drove in, and the guy started to drive in right behind me like he was going to sneak in on my code. I drove just past the gate and then stopped so the man couldn't get in. Then I just waited for the gate to close. The guy didn't honk at me or anything. Finally, the gate closed, leaving him outside. I started to drive forward and out of sight of the guy. As I was doing so, I happened to see him starting to turn around to leave. Obviously, he didn't live here. I was able to get back safely and luckily haven't seen the guy since. I still can't believe that he followed me home. Looking back, I'm really glad that I didn't let him into my apartment complex. Who knows what would have happened then? I used to work at a library not too far from where I lived. I worked there for a total of two years. The library that I worked at closed pretty late for a library. We were open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. from Monday to Thursday. The rest of the week, we closed earlier at 5 p.m. I mostly just worked on weekdays though, and oftentimes in the evening. One night, I was working a Thursday until close. Things would usually be very quiet for the last several hours. During that time, we would only have one employee working, which was me. The library was a little bit on the smaller side. It was just one level and had just about everything you would want in a library still though. So on this night, it was very quiet like usual. I was by myself starting at 5 p.m. for the final three hours. During the five o'clock hour, a few people were there, but by six, it was completely empty other than me. At least that's what I thought. 
there was only one entrance and exit to the library, so it would be easy to tell when people came and went. I was sitting behind my desk, where you could check out books. From where I was, I could see a large area of the library, but not all of it. It was now dark outside, and completely silent, which was always a little bit strange. At probably like 6.30, as I was just sitting there, I heard a noise of what sounded like somebody walking through an aisle. There were obviously lots of bookshelves, and I couldn't see into most of the aisles. Then, just for a second, I saw a man appear, walking from behind one bookshelf, and go behind another one. He was tall and thin, wearing all black clothing, but the most notable thing was that he was wearing an alien mask. It was green and really creepy looking. I hadn't seen him before, so he must have put on his mask when he was already inside or something. I wasn't really quite sure what he was doing. Maybe some kind of a prank. Nobody else seemed to be here though. After he went behind another bookshelf, everything was silent again. He had been sort of far away from me because there was a little lounge area between where I was and the bookshelves. About 10 minutes went by. Then, just for a second, I saw him again. This time, he came out of an aisle a ways away from where he was before. It was sort of creepy seeing him. I thought about saying something, but didn't. For the next hour, probably, I didn't see or hear him at all. I was starting to worry, because we would be closing shortly, and I didn't want to have to kick this guy out. When we would be closing in 30 minutes, I made the announcement over the library speakers. He didn't leave immediately after, though. All I heard was silence. Then, just about five minutes after that, I saw through a bookshelf the man appearing to stare at me. It was really far away, and he was sticking his head between some books, making it visible to me. I smiled, thinking that it was a joke when I saw it. He didn't move, though. Soon, it became uncomfortable, and I looked away. Maybe a minute later, I looked back, and he was still there. This was really weird, and I looked away again. I focused on my computer screen for the next several minutes. The next time that I looked, he was gone. Soon, I gave the 15-minute warning that we would be closing. The guy in the alien mask was the only person in the entire library besides me. I didn't see him for the rest of the time until we closed. I gave multiple more warnings on the speakers. It was now 8 o'clock and just me and him were inside. I really had no idea as to where he was. I scanned my eyes around everything that I could see, but did not see him. I hadn't heard anything either, and it was so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. So I decided that I needed to go and find this guy and tell him that we were now closed. I got up, and I will admit, was sort of nervous. I started at the front and made my way towards the back, going through every single aisle. Not long after starting, I heard a noise coming from the back. I started walking in the direction that I heard it, but couldn't seem to find the guy. I called out, asking if anybody was there and saying that we were now closed, but I got nothing in response. As I looked from one shelf to another, I soon found myself towards the back of the library. I really had no idea where this guy could have gone. Then I heard a book fall from a shelf closer to the front. It was a ways away. I walked over there, but never saw the man. I picked up the book and then walked up and down every single aisle of the library again, covering every inch of the place. I even looked in the bathrooms and areas that were off-limits to the public. I couldn't find him anywhere. I didn't hear any more noises either. He must have left. The man was really good at avoiding me. After staying long past what I planned to, I finally left for the night. I really don't know what that man was doing, but he really creeped me out. He literally stayed in the library for at least three hours, most of which he was the only person in there other than me. That was my scariest experience working there. Back when I was a kid, I used to go to the library all the time. This was in the early 2000s when smartphones weren't around. I got a lot of entertainment looking at books. I was probably like six or seven years old at the time that this occurred. I was decent at reading, but I much preferred to just look at the pictures. When we went to the library, it would usually be my mom, my sister, and me. We would go down to the public library that was only about a mile from our house. Each week, we would go and check out new books and VHS tapes, and then bring them back home. I would be really excited to go, and it was one of the main forms of entertainment for me. One time, I went on a weekday afternoon with my mom and sister, as usual. I went to my usual spot of the children's section. There were quite a few bookshelves in the children's area. There were also some tables and chairs and stuff. 
It was somewhat separated from the rest of the library. My sister is a few years older than me, and sometimes she would go to the other parts of the library to get books. My mom would usually be with my sister, and I would go off and find the books that I wanted to get. My mom would find me when it was time to go, or to let me know that she was going to another part of the library. This time, after arriving, I went to one of the aisles with a lot of picture books. The library was relatively quiet from what I can remember. I know that I sat down on the floor in one of the aisles between bookshelves and started looking at books. There were some interesting ones with lots of pictures in them. I got carried away and some time went by. I'm not sure exactly how long, but maybe an hour or so. Then I remember out of nowhere, a man entered the aisle. I moved to the side to get out of the way, but I remained sitting on the floor and reading a book. The man walked over to me though and then stopped. I looked up at him, wondering what he wanted. He asked me what my name was and I told him. He then told me that my mom was looking for me. I believed him and I put the book that I was reading back on the shelf and then stood up. The man told me that my mom asked him to help look for me. I wasn't sure if this guy worked at the library or not. The librarians typically just wore normal clothes, but I didn't recognize the man. It was possible that he did and also maybe did not. He told me to follow him though, so I did. We walked out of the aisle and then around the corner. There we were in a more open area. I followed him through that area and he was walking kind of fast. Then out of the corner of my eye, I saw my mom. She was to my right and kind of far away. The man was not walking in her direction at all. He was also going towards the front of the library. I stopped and started walking over to my mom. I thought that maybe the man had mistaken me for another kid, or possibly he thought my mom was someone else. Either way, I knew where my mom was. When I started walking to her, at first, the guy turned around and I saw him start to walk closer to me. Then he suddenly stopped and turned back. He kept going where he originally had been. I made it back over to my mom, who was in the corner of the children's section with my sister. I looked back over, and the man was now gone. I think he left the entire library. I really didn't think all that much of the experience. For the rest of the time that I was there that day, though, I stuck with my mom and sister. Years later, looking back, I think that he would have actually left the library with me. I'm really glad that I located my mom when I did. I used to work at a library. This is probably the craziest thing that I witnessed there. I was also right in the middle of it. The library that I worked at had a small lobby and then some areas to check out books. Then there was the main part of the library that had everything you would expect. We had lots of books, videos, meeting rooms, a computer area, and some lounge areas. It was very large. I worked at one of the areas where you could check out books before leaving. I would scan people's library cards and then the books that they were checking out. Now the library that I worked at has self-checkout areas, but this was before then. One Saturday, I was working with several other coworkers. It was pretty busy, a little more so than usual, but everything was going well. Then a man came into my line to check out. He was a somewhat big guy who was bald and had glasses and a mustache. I don't remember what books he was getting, but he had about five to 10 books and some DVDs as well. I asked him for his library card and he gave it to me. When I scanned it, it showed that his account was flagged and he was not allowed to check anything out. I told him his account was flagged and he acted all surprised and angry at the same time. He asked why as if he had no idea. When I looked, it said that he had about 50 overdue books. He also had a pretty large fine because of this. Some of the books were long past overdue. After seeing this, I thought there was no way this guy was actually surprised by this. He claimed that he had returned everything and that he was totally innocent. I asked him what day he returned the books and he said he couldn't remember. He demanded to speak with a supervisor and I called over one of my coworkers. We both basically told him that he couldn't check anything out until he returned his books and paid his fine. He could either pay the fine and return the books or pay for the value of all the books, which was much higher. This made the man very angry. He kept saying that we were lying about it. We asked him to leave, but he refused. After giving us an earful for a few minutes, he finally walked away, but it wasn't to leave. He turned back and walked over to a stand of books that we had and then knocked it over. Then he came back over to his stack of books, stuffed them in his book bag, and then ran off. He then left the library. We were just glad that he was gone, and then we called the police on him. We had his name and address from his library card, 
and the police located him pretty easily. It turns out he had been checking books out of the library and then trying to sell them online. He'd succeeded in selling a number of them. I believe he would find out which books were the best selling at the time and then make a list and go to the library to get them. It was a really stupid plan and it did not end up working out well for him at all. He was forced to pay a large fine as well as pay for the value of all the books. Then he was banned from our library for a year and I think all other libraries as well. Hopefully he learned his lesson. I had a very creepy experience a couple of years ago. I'm an avid reader and have completed many book series. Since I was a kid, reading has been one of my favorite hobbies. I go to my local library all the time to get more books, and there's one very close to where I live. When I went there one time, I was trying to find some new books to read. I was interested in branching out of the types of books that I was used to reading, so this time I spent a lot more time than usual when I was there. I remember that things started out average and then quieted down. It was probably 6 p.m. and the library closed at 7. I was near a random bookshelf in a very quiet area. As I stood in the aisle, all by myself, I found some books that I was interested in. I picked one up and wanted to read a little bit to get a feel for the story. I was reading it for maybe five minutes or so. Everybody knows how libraries are extremely quiet. This one was especially quiet because it was getting late. I was just reading when all of a sudden, I heard what sounded like a whisper coming from behind me. Somebody was saying, hey, to me. I turned around but saw no one. It must have been coming from the next aisle over. Maybe they weren't talking to me, whoever it was. I went back to the book. About a minute went by, and then I heard it again. This time, it was a little bit louder. It sounded like a man's voice saying, hey, and hey you to me. I turned around again, and this time, thought that I saw someone moving in the other aisle. I couldn't see much because of all the books on the shelves, and the only thing that I did see was between the empty gaps. I decided to go over there and see what was up. When I walked past to the other side, no one was there. They must have moved out of the way to another aisle. I walked past to a few more aisles. A man was in one of them, and it could have possibly been him, but he wasn't looking in my direction, and I didn't want to ask him. I turned and walked back to where I had been before. I decided to leave because whoever was whispering was kind of creeping me out a little bit. I got the books that I wanted to check out and then did so and left. After I left, I drove home and arrived back just minutes later. But not long after getting inside my apartment, my cell phone started to ring. I did not recognize the number. I picked it up and answered, wondering who it could possibly be. What I heard on the other end was the same whispering that I had heard at the library. Somebody was saying, hey, to me, just like before. It was the same man's voice, it seemed. I asked multiple times who this was. I asked them how they got my number and why they were calling me as well. None of my questions were answered, though. After maybe 10 seconds of whispering, followed by about 10 seconds or so of silence, the person on the other end hung up. I then blocked the number. After that, I didn't go back to that particular library for several months. I only went back there during that time to return books. Luckily, I never got another strange call or had another encounter like that. I have been back to that library since and everything's fine. I still wonder though who that was and how they got my number.